Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to story time. Are you ready to start? Well, we start by singing our hello song, and it's called Bread and Butter. And if you don't know the words, it goes like this. All you have to do is say hello back. Ready? All right, here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Oh, that one was so loud I could hear it from here. All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. What's the opposite of slow? Oh, that's right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hoop! That was pretty fast. All right, you need a squeaky mouse voice for the next one. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. And then a Papa Bear voice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. And then your very last one, show off your best library manners. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello boys and girls, welcome to story time. Everyone, it's Miss Jill, and we're going to have story time today. Today, we're going to read a book that Miss Molly suggested I Am Not a Chair by Ross Brock. Ro Mr. Brock, the author, dedicated this book to Drew and Todd. And look, do you see the giraffe and the bunny playing with the ball? The giraffe kind of looks like a chair, doesn't it? On giraffe's foot first day in the jungle, he felt something wasn't right. Can I share that chair? Said the bunny. Chair? I am not a chair. Giraffe knew he needed to clear things up right away. But splat, he couldn't get the words out. I'm a giraffe, can't they see? I have spots and ears and eyes and what Ever these things are. If they couldn't see the difference, Giraffe would have to show them. Twist, twist, clank, clunk. Now that's a chair. Looks nothing like me. New friends were already headed his way. Problem solved. Rump. Wobble, wobble, smash. Oh no, my chair. I'll fix it, sniff, sniff. This goes here, that goes there. Giraffe's first day could not get any worse, but at least no one could sit on him now. Flap, 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 see the birds are coming. What Giraffe looked for, a solution. Someone was spying on him. A human. Surely he'll know who I am. Look at those spots. It's perfect, so 
said the human. <laughs> Smartest species? Yeah, right. chair and I'm speaking up to the next animal I see. Roar. The next animal I see will be my dinner, said the lion, even if I have to sit here all night. I'm sitting on the giraffe. Giraffe wished he could run. He wished he could hide. He wished he wasn't so afraid. No, I need to speak up. I need to be me. And Giraffe couldn't hold it in any longer. I've got to pee. Okay, here goes nothing. Gulp. Excuse me. The lion looks at Giraffe like, what is this? And Giraffe is scared. Ah, run for your lives, a talking chair. I'm not a chair, I'm a giraffe. And the next day, he told everyone. And everything felt right. Me, a chair. Can you believe it? The end. See you soon. Bye.